If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. Hello, right, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have a lot to go. We have Reduxes coming. We have Most Feared Part 3 reveal. We have a bunch of special news. We have some more news regarding later in the week content. We have a lot of stuff to go over. Point is, right? Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys haven't already subbed to the channel, and if you guys need any coins, head down below to my sponsor, Super Cheap Coins, so you can get ready for pre -re oh, release part three coming, right? So let's start. Let's get into the video. We have 16 players revealed as Redux cards coming. So Stefan Diggs, and by the way, guys, if you don't know what Reduxes are, these are all prior LTD cards that will be getting a Redux card, which should make them super affordable in terms of getting them on your squad, right? For power-up reasons, for whatever you need them for. We got Stephon Diggs, Marcus Peters, Leo Collins, Harold Landry III, Robert Woods, Kareem Jackson, Aaron Jones, Shaq Barrett, Leroy Selman, John Mackey, Roy Williams, Curtis Martin, Mike Haynes, Jerry Rice, Julio Jones, and Justin Tucker. Next, we have the LTDs. James Robinson. Now, this card actually doesn't look that bad if you just want a pure power back. I don't know how much he weighs, but I'm, James Robinson looks like a pretty big guy. I imagine there's some good weight there. 91 speed on a Robinson card is really good because they usually kill his speed in regs and mutt in general. He'll have a 92 speed, 94 excel powered up with a 95 carry, 95 truck, and 94 break tackle with an 87 change of direction and 78 catching. He's actually a pretty good catching back if you guys are watching Jaguars games. He's pretty good. I like this card a lot. I don't think he'd be meta, but he's actually pretty good to be completely honest with you guys. Kenny Clark, defensive tackle, run stopper for the Packers. This card actually is pretty good as well. 70 speed, 84 excel on a DT isn't horrible. He'll get 95 strength powered up, 95 block shed, and 90 power. Will be, he'll be an elite pass rusher. He'll be an elite block shedder. He'll be an elite, you know, has elite strength. Gonna be really good. I think this card's actually one of the better DTs in the game. Again, it's a defensive tackle. He's gonna be pretty expensive for that reason because he's, a, he's an LTD anyways. So I don't think he'll be meta by that means, but if you can get your hands on him as a redux later in the year, or if you happen to pull him or whatever, he's actually pretty good. Next, guys, we have the most feared low player reveal. There will be actual card art, but for the low ones, they typically don't give us those. We have Solomon Thomas, Brian Allen, Taylor Rapp, Trey Turner, Zach Braun, Zach Bond, Bashad Breland, Andrew Dowell, Tyson Williams, Will Harris, Brian Edwards. What's funny about this, you can tell how pre uh, how pre planned content is this year by the fact that Tyson Williams has a most feared card. He's literally been like a healthy and active for like three out of the last five weeks, and the Ravens have him like in the doghouse right now. But they must have planned this after his really good week one slash two, right? Next, guys, here are the reveals. We have a strong safety, 81 overall, Rayshon Jenkins, 89 speed, 89 excel, 83 hit power. I suppose a decent budget card if you're going to use him. Andrew Thomas for the Giants. This card's absolute trash. Uh, nothing. He doesn't have a single stat above 80 besides strength. O'Day Abushi, right guard for the Chargers. Um, this card's pretty trash, too. Mac Wilson, right outside linebacker, 85 speed, 88 excel. 75 block should I imagine some pretty good hit power, but cards trash. AJ Klein, left outside linebacker, can't pass rush, no block shed, no speed, trash. Miles Gaskin, 87 speed, 90 uh, we'll have 88 speed, 90 excel powered up. I guess Rams theme team is like a third, third option, maybe. Max Williams, tight end for the Cardinals, uh, 81 speed, 80 run blocking. He'd be a good run blocking tight end. So if you need like a budgety third, like you know when you run like the three tight end sets, like uh, single back, halfback, dive when you want to go ahead and run like three tight ends on the line. This would be a decent card to pick up. It's just a pure run blocker that you can go ahead and just make sure that you can get a good, uh, some good blocking. Demonte Casey, or Kazi, if you say his name, for the Cowboys. No hit power, no zone. 89 speed, 90 excel, powered up though. So decent user, I suppose. We have Logan Thomas, tight end for the Washington football team. No speed. This card's pretty trash. I mean, the low cards are always going to be trash. We know this. Anthony Hitchens, no speed as well. Trash. Hassan Reddick, 85 speed, 88 excel, powered up, 86 speed, powered up, 85 finesse, but powered up. I guess he's decent. I wouldn't suppose that you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you use him. David Montgomery for the Bears. He's been injured, but 86 speed, 88 excel is absolutely terrible for running back. That card's not going to be usable. Uh, Garrett Bowles. This card, I suppose, is decent on a Broncos team team if you need that left tackle spot or any of the lineman spots. John Franklin Myers, 80 finesse, move, so powered up, 89, 80 block. Should I guess, again, Jets theme team? I don't see him being anywhere else used. Matthew Judon, 81 speed, 89 uh, power move with 82 speed, sorry, for the power up. I don't think this card is that great either. Preston Smith, 86 speed, 90 excel powered up with an 89 finesse uh, power move. And you can get that to a 90 with the Strat card. This card actually could be pretty good on a Packers theme team. 
Logan Ryan, free safety for the Giants. 90 zone, 90 speed, 92 excel powered up. This card would be really good on a Giants theme team. As a regular card, I don't see the, too much use. Jordan Poyer, pretty much the same card as Logan Ryan, but better hit power again. Bill's theme team's great. Could actually be kind of usable on regular teams because he gets the 85 hit power with the 91 zone and 90 speed. Ryan Jensen center. This card is actually pretty good. Pretty good run blocker, pretty good pass blocker, pretty good awareness. Uh, again, most teams could probably use this as a free card, guys. Like I said, I always am a big guy of taking, because you get a free 90, by the way. Another free 90 this week. So if you have to take a free 90, securing your center spot is never a bad idea. Josh Jacobs, 90 overall halfback for the, Ram, uh, the Raiders. 91 speed for Jacobs card is actually really good. Now, I think the Josh Jacobs, sorry. I think the James Robinson card is much better than this card. But again, he's an LTE. This card is not. Everson Griffin. This one was revealed yesterday, guys. Probably one of the best 90s to take for free. He gets a 90 power move powered up, and he gets an 88 speed. So this card's actually one of the better speed power rushers in the game in terms of free options at 90, right? Devin Bush. This is another one of the good free 90s to choose. If you guys use middle linebackers, which I know a lot of people don't, if you do use a middle linebacker, he will have 90 speed, 91 excel with 92 hit power with 88 zone with 81 block shed, 89 tackle, 89 play rec. Pretty good if you need a middle linebacker. Keenan Allen, this card's, do this card's dog, you know what, he's crap. I don't know how, like, usually Keenan Allen cards have, like, 88, 87 speed, but he gets the 90 route running thresholds. They didn't give him the route running thresholds because, you know, he would have been really good if they gave him 90 speed with 90 route running. I could see him as a usable third or fourth option, but they didn't. Kyle Juszczyk, 93 overall, one of the, like, top cards. This card's actually really good if you need a fullback, guys, like, 87, 87 speed powered up with above 90 run blocking, 94, and he'll have a 94 lead block. This card would be actually really, really good. I'm a big fan of, you know, good fullbacks because when you want to run block properly, like power schemes or lead blocking, one of the best things you can do is get a good fullback, guys. They make a world, world of difference when they lead block through the hole and just destroy it. Like when they can kick a linebacker out two or even a yard or two, that makes a big hole. I like, I like, I like fullbacks that can do that. Aaron Donald, we've been expecting this card. He's like a most feared staple. This card's really good. 85 speed, 90 excel. He'll have a 93 block shed, 94 power move, 90 finesse move. Going to be like Lawrence Taylor in the sense that he can finesse, he can do power, he can stop the run. Not as fast, but still a really, really good option. I'm a big fan of this card as well. Next, we have the most feared release three notes. We have 40 new players, 30 new challenges in the Ultiverse of Terror, up to 150 stars. New house rules, tug of warlock, most feared release one and two players can be used in sets for release three. That's cool as well. Tug of Warlock, the new house rules. This is where you get another NCAT 90 overall player or an 85 overall auction, plus overall auctionable tradable most feared player. The way it works is first to score TD or closest, it's uh, tug, of, it's tug of War. You guys know how this works. They just changed it. But the key thing is X Factor will always be on. So there's going to be some interesting ways to play this. You can go ahead and get three wide receivers, put double me on them, and make sure that you can just chuck it up all game. You could get Freight Train on a running back. Uh, let's say you get Derrick Henry or Freight Train, and then you get a wider, two wide receivers or double me. You can go ahead and just completely destroy someone. And then defensively, you can go ahead and put Avalanche, like, let's say, on three different defenders and force, like, insta fumbles. So, going to be an interesting way to, you know, go ahead and game plan this. Uh, and then here's the last part, guys. Most Feared X, they're going to be giving you, if you use the Monster Morph cards, you're going to be able to go ahead and use cards that weren't even Most Feared cards as part of the Halloween promo. So, Michael Vick has the Legend LTD. You can go ahead and equip, like, the card art on the Michael Vick for the Most Feared as a scary good. And you're going to be able to go ahead and actually make them compatible with monster morph so vic wasn't compatible before but if you put this on he'll be considered a most feared car which means you can make him super tall or give him 99 speed and that works with you know cam newton michael vic cam chancellor aaron Rodgers, and then of course andre johnson lot and woodson were already most feared cards so they have that option already video hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you aren't to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course comment down below if you have any questions or anything else regarding this promo thank you for watching i'm out peace